Okay, guys, we're going to talk about my cord textile 49 that I have. I don't know how old it is. One of my friends had given it to me. I don't have the box. All he did was give me this. I had to buy uh, the USB cord separate, which is not a lot. Um, I'm just, I just want to talk about how to set it up to your Cubase and uh, common issues that you may have when you're trying to set it up. Uh, which I had because I, I upgraded the system and, you know, I had to program it to a new computer. So I had some issues, but I have it um, together right now. We're going to talk about how to set it up. So basically, you hook up your USB to your computer. Your computer should read it. And if it does, what you would do is go up to your studio uh, setup or your DAW setup. Let's go over here. Let's... There we go. Studio setup. Click on that. Um, it's probably not going to show Korg. Um, also, if you go to add, there's a lot of midis here already, but the textile is not one of them. The Korg is not one of them. So you would have to go to Mac control. Here's the Mac control. And for the MIDI input, it is D-A-W-N. And then for the MIDI out it is the D-A-W out. You will hit apply, push OK, and then it should control everything. Panning, all of that. All right, so let's talk about the common issues of when you uh, add it, it's not reading it. It's not um, controlling your DAW. So what you want to do is see if your computer is recognizing it. You would want to go to Device Manager. Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. Let's move this over. All right. Device Manager. Come here to Sound Video and Game Controllers. And it should say, say uh, or read Textile 49 or Korg Textile. If it doesn't show, you probably want to scan hardware for changes. Go up to Action, Scan Hardware, or Refresh, whatever yours says. See if it's there. Now, if it's not, you could also take your USB out and put it back in. Sometimes that helps. Um, and then do the same thing. Come here, scan for hardware, see if it reads it. Now, if it does not... You're probably going to have to come to open up your browser and type in korg.com. Also, another thing, when you're taking out your USB, sometimes you have to switch USB um, inputs um, because sometimes it's a 2.0 or sometimes it's a 3.0 that accepts your um, actual USB. And, and we'll read it. All right, so let's see where we at. Go to products, go to korg.com. It's gonna show your products, find your product. Now here is the, uh, the textile. Scroll all the way down here, and there are softwares and drivers. You, you need the driver, so click on the driver. All right, so that's going to open up. Ah, let's go to support. Let's see if this works. Come on, come on, come on. All right, here we go. Um, software bundles, well, actually, probably downloads. All right, here we go. Downloads. All right, here we go. Download USB mini driver here. All right, so then you want to uh, 
download either Windows 10 or Windows 8.1. Um, go through the whole process. Um, it may ask you to restart your computer, and which is a good thing. So then after that, come here. Once again, go to your device manager. Click on it. See if it is under sound, video, and game controllers. If it's there, good. That's a good sign. Come to your either your Cubase DAW or whichever DAW you have. Go to Studio or Settings, however yours is set up. Studio Setup. Go to your MIDI. Uh, click Add. Go to uh, Mackie Control. DAW in. DAW out. Apply. Push OK. And then for Cubase, over here, you want to find your scene number. My scene number was number two. It's already set up for you, so you don't have to program it yourself. There is a way to program this yourself if you chose to, which I don't know why you want to, because it takes a while to actually do it. There's a whole process, and if you guys want me to show you how to do that, I can show you how to do that. But as soon as you put your scene two in, um, go up to studio, set up. Mackie control, all that, everything's going to start playing. Um, I hope this has helped somebody out. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment if I have helped you. Thank you guys so much.